My dudes, Carter bits me tripping. Almost five o'clock. Long day with the team. A couple different sites and just getting things done today, my dudes. When I've been checking into what's going on with this Bitcoin difficulty. Anybody not tracking? We talked about it briefly, but looking at this right now, we are at almost 9.4 to 8.6 a difficulty adjustment. Last block was found uh, seven minutes ago. But this thing's been running about every, about every 30 minutes. And look at how many blocks are behind you. See all that red there? We still have quite a bit to go. Um, there's been a lot of speculation that the time correlation to this. So we're looking at about 815 exahash dropping to about 640 exahash estimated um, based on the current difficulty. Um, What's that mean? So that means that somewhere in there, close to 10% of the Bitcoin hash rate has powered off, shut down um, since the last few days. Speculation has been that Iran was uh, Bitcoin mining and then some of the actions that occurred with this nuclear you know, program destruction or attempt to destruct um, may have resulted in either power or something getting cut to maybe a large Iranian farm. I haven't seen anything to back that up, short of the coincidence that, that happened around the same time. I'm trying to balance that against very, very high heat in, throughout the whole Midwest, lower south right now, and many farms that I know, our farms here, all are curtailing like we're off right now like it's five o'clock we went down at about one o'clock today uh we're all actually around noon and we're gonna be off until 10 o'clock tonight so we have not and we've done this now a couple days in a row where we've been down most of the day because excessive energy use in this area we are curtailing that load for people with acs and that they don't need to spin up peaker plants and stuff so this is a common occurrence around summertime. Now this kind of a drop, I mean, there might be some existential impacts from somebody like Iran, but until I see actual empirical evidence of that, it's just speculation. Now there's a few different things that could be, um, could help in that evaluation is looking good. And I haven't done this yet, but I was thinking about pulling out all the blocks over the, like, the last two weeks, looking who the block winners were, looking at specific addresses, if there were not pools, you know, actual addresses that were winning and have they fell off. So maybe even doing like a month analysis of this and seeing are there IPs and IPs can change, but are there, is there a noticeable participant that has fell off? That is one way to do it. Another way, if with the public pools, you can start to see worker names and worker accounts and then see, you know, who's fell off. And, you know, you, you could find the information out if you do enough digging, at least from the fact that there's been a reduction from a participant. Um, you know, their machines have been offline or whatever else. Um, this, we used to do this a lot with Bitcoin or with uh, GPU mining coins, where you would see the ebb and flow of the hash rate go from one coin to another, usually profit switching. And you could see like large entities moving. You didn't necessarily know who they were, but you knew that they were switching between coins and you could kind of see that ebb and flow. I mean, a lot of them didn't change the worker name, they just changed coins. Um, but with Bitcoin, it's a little more difficult um, just because it's all SHA-256, nobody's really switching, profit switching, is Bitcoin's the most profitable. People aren't moving over to Bitcoin Cash unless they're just devout Bitcoin Cash people. Um, and once you throw hash rate and make less money. Um, so like it's, yeah, I don't know. Like it's, uh, it's one of those things that's speculation right now, but I think that it would warrant some investigation because really the question is, is it just heat induced in the particular areas in the world that are under high heat right now and people are just curtailing the loads or is it actually something kinetic took it out? Um, and you know, this could be for Israel and Iran, could be Ukraine, could be Russia. There could be a whole bunch of different, any of the hot zones that have been hit recently. Um, it could have been Russian mining. It could have been Ukrainian mining. It could have been any of those. Um, I know a lot of power infrastructure has been hit recently. 
in both of those countries too. So like, it's, it's interesting to see, you know, this now as it's becoming more and more a prevalent and um, instrumental piece in, you know, foreign finances and all that sort of thing. Like, just how deep this rabbit hole goes with Bitcoin mining and from a state actor level. So I don't know, uh, most of us are all gonna feel a surge of 10%, which is gonna be nice for anybody that's mining uh, Bitcoin um, here in the next four days, provided this thing switches on Sunday. I mean, if it continues its current pace, I bet you it's late Sunday um, afternoon, it'll switch and we'll see if it ends up where it ends up at right now. I'm betting it, it's about, It'll level off at about 7.5 because you're going to have at least folks like us. And I mean, we're just a small scale, um, but in the totality of people I know, probably 13 to 20 exahash that will, that are, that's curtailed that I know of right now, um, that will come back online, you know, and let's say it's a 10 X from there. Um, you know, you could have a couple hundred terah or exahash easily curtailed right now. So We'll see over the weekend as it starts to get a little cooler um, and people usually don't curtail on the weekends. So, because um, those aren't where the peaks are. So let's check. I say, look at Saturday, my dudes. If you start to see the blockchain start to accelerate, then there's a high chance it was a curtailment thing, but that's where I would say about that. All right, my dudes, I'll catch you guys on tomorrow's vlog. We do have some other videos that were shot today, but I'm just giving you guys kind of a talking head video today and then we'll show you guys some content tomorrow. Peace, my dudes.